Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video because first of all, I rarely do makeup tutorials anymore and this is one of them and it is my everyday fall makeup look and hopefully you guys enjoy. The main reason this is really exciting is because I'm working with a fantastic brand and they're actually giving me a reason to do makeup tutorials for the next three months. So October, November, December, you will see at least one makeup tutorial a month because I am working with Burt's Bees um, mainly just because they wanted to help show off their Burt's Bees lip crayons, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. If you want to see not only one of my favorite fall looks, but also one of my favorite fall outfits and bags, then keep watching to the end. Thank you guys so much for your support. I would absolutely not be able to work with such fantastic brands if it wasn't for you watching. I so appreciate this and I, I really try to make like some more sponsored videos in a way that's actually interesting for you to watch and is obviously very transparent that yes, I am working with this brand. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you want to see what I did, then keep watching. Okay, so I have already put on my primer just so that this kind of moves along a little bit faster. Lately I've been using the number 7 Stay Perfect Primer which I just got at Target in the States and it's amazing if you have oily skin, really smooths out everything. I'm going to go ahead and move on to foundation. So I have been using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I am in the shade 2W1 Dawn. So I'm just going to take this on a buffing brush and work it into the skin. So I start at the center of my face on my nose and just kind of disperse the product around. Make sure that you cover the lips because if you're using a darker pencil, this will really help mute out your lips and make the color more vibrant. And under the eyes, I just blend it out with my finger. I just use the second pump to go over my forehead and down my neck. Okay, now to concealer. I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. I just push this under my eyes and use my ring finger to blend out. It's a really quick process. If you need to spot conceal, go ahead and do that. If you have oily skin like I do, go ahead and powder. I use the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I believe this is discontinued, so I will need to find a new drugstore powder, but this is my favorite. So I just use any old kabuki brush, push it into the skin first, and then I just blend out that area. And then under my eyes, I don't like using normal powder. I like using an HD powder. The Makeup Forever is fantastic. I just take this on any sort of brush. I'm just going to use this e.l.f. one right now and just tap it in just to set the under eye. Sometimes if I'm going to have a long day, I also take this into the T-zone as well. So for fall, I have been loving a really dark contour, so I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. duo. This is in the color Turks and Caicos. It's $3 on Eyes, Lips, Face. I really, really enjoy this. Any sort of brush, and this is super pigmented, so you tap off the extra. You need to, or it will look like you just streaked mud all over your face. So take off as much excess as you can, and just really lightly contour your cheeks. If you like contouring, if you don't, then absolutely skip this step, but I really feel like fall and winter are the times when I can get away with a really nice, heavy, dramatic contour. On to blush, of course, use whatever you want. I'm going to be using the NYX blush in Desert Rose. I think it's nice and deep, which is, again, sort of correlating to fall. You get more deeper colors, so I'm just going to take this on any sort of brush and just put it on my cheeks here, and then I focus most of it on the apples. Okay, moving on to eyes, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I'm going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm in medium deep. Yes, yes I am. Confirm that. So I'm just going to run it through. This is all I do for my brows. Really, really simple. Takes like 10 seconds a brow. Now I'm just going to take a clean spoolie and just run it through. And run it through. On to priming the eyes, I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This just came in the Lorac palette that I got, which is what we're going to be using for the eye look. And I'm just going to blend this all over. Now that we are all primed and ready, I'm taking my Lorac Pro palette, and I'm just going to start off on my lid by using this mauve shade just all over my lid, blending it a tiny bit into the crease. You can use absolutely any sort of brush. I'm just going to mix it up and use this Urban Decay brush because that's just funny to me. And again, we are just packing this onto the lid, all the way to the inner corner, all the way to the outer corner, and then I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush and just blending this into the crease. I don't like going too deep on my eyes for fall because I really do like dramatic cheeks and lips, so I'm just going to add a little bit of color, just something a little smoky but something that's very wearable. I'm going to take this color on the tip of the brush and just blend it into the lower lash line here. Okay, for the crease color, I'm going to take mauve and sable and just mix these two colors together. So just looking down, I'm focusing this on the outer corner, as you can see right here, and then just bring it in once you've used most of the color on the outer corner. 
I'm going to take cream right here on the same brush. I've used up all the shadow here, and I'm just going to use this as kind of my transition color into the brow bone. So I'm just going to use this to kind of blend everything out. I'm going to take cream also just on a really precise brush, and I'm going to use this on the inner corner just to lighten everything up. And just blend it in. Take the same brush and I'm going to take this pewter color which is in the shimmery side right here, really gorgeous, and I'm going to use this to line my lower lash line. And you're just going to use this to smoke out. That is it for eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyeliner. I like gel eyeliner. This is the Star Lux Black Eyeliner in Black Hole. And I'm just going to do a really precise line, nothing too crazy or fancy. So I'm just keeping really close to the lash line and I'm just basically stamping the brush, which is how I do it when I only have one hand. <laughs> okay, now depending on what looks better for you, fill in your lower lash line or your waterline. And for me, lately, I've been really getting into just my lash line here. So I just take it and kind of stamp it on the outer third of my eye. And then I just drag in any excess to the inner corner, just like that. And we're going to take a brush and smoke this out in a second. Okay, now I'm moving on to mascara. Use whatever you like. Lately, I have been really into the It's So Big Volumizing Mascara from Elizabeth Mott. So it just looks like this. It's just a sample size. And I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lashes and then my top lashes as well. My hand is all shaky. I had like two cups of coffee this morning. <laughs> really good when you're doing mascara to have shaky hands. Definite skill. So that is it for the eyes and the face. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the lips. We've already moisturized them with the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. And now we're going to move on to using the Burt's Bees Lip Crayon. It is this color right here. It's in the shade Redwood Forest. I'm just using this. This is all I'm using. I love using this lip pencil because it has a matte finish, but it's also really moisturizing, which is incredibly hard to find. So that's all I'm using on my lips, just this lip crayon, and look at how beautiful this color is. It's kind of gorgeous. So that is it for my everyday fall makeup look, and I'm going to go ahead and stand up and show you one of my favorite fall outfits and my everyday fall bag. So that is it for my favorite outfit in my bag. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, everything in this video will be listed down below. The clothes that I'm wearing, everything, even what's on my nails. So thank you guys so much for watching my everyday fall makeup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below. It is free and I post three to five times a week because I have no social life. That's my new outro because it's very true. And uh, I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.